is on Monday the 10th of December. The government fails to get a grip on poverty. Westlife has smash hits again. And Light Entertainment is an earner at the Turners. Child poverty is still rife in Britain despite Tony Blair's promise to stamp it out within a generation. That's the damning verdict of the most extensive report yet carried out on the crisis. Here's Ian Ramage. The independent Joseph Roundtree Foundation says 13.3 million Britons lived in poverty at the end of April 2000, including 4 million children. It was barely 100,000 fewer than the previous year, which was way short of the government's reduction target. Ours should be the first generation to end child poverty forever. And I believe it will take a generation to achieve it. By spring this year, two million children were living in homes where no adult had a paid job. The Blair government claims its policies made an impact in its first term in office, but that can't be verified until official figures are published next summer. It says a complicated new system of means testing deterred many from claiming benefits, and it blames what it calls initiative fatigue caused by the wealth of choice of benefits. The Roundtree report has some good news. Fewer kids are leaving school without basic qualifications. American intelligence agents believe bin Laden is still in the Tora Bora mountains of Afghanistan, despite reports that he fled. U.S. warplanes have continued their bombardment of the Cape hideout in a bid to weaken his al-Qaeda network. The Pentagon says it's obtained a video which further implicates the terror chief in the September the 11th attack. It's pretty clear as it's described to me, that uh, he does in fact display uh, significant knowledge of what happened and that there's no doubt about his responsibility for the attack on September 11th. Westlife are the best band in the world, judging by readers of Smash Hits. The skillful musicians who got six gongs last year were voted top band at this year's T4 Smash Hits poll winners party. S Club 7 got record of the year. Brittany, who else was best female, much to Kylie's horror, no doubt. Martin Creed has made light work of picking up the £20,000 Turner Prize for so-called art. His brilliant idea for making easy money was to have a light come on and off every five seconds. Two of the pop world's shining lights said it certainly lit their fire. I don't know what I would have thought if I'd just seen the installation without the context of the video we just watched. But given that he's, you know, doing the thing about something coming from nothing, I think that, for me, the purpose of art is to go away thinking in a slightly different way than he did before. And for me, his work does that. Light goes on, light goes off likes it a lot. Here's the sport. Arsenal kept up their bid for the Premiership by overturning a 2-0 deficit to beat Aston Villa 3-2. Thierry Henry crowned the occasion with his 21st goal of the season. Elsewhere, Harry Kewell struck twice in a 2-1 Leeds victory at Blackburn. Premiership doormats Ipswich only had themselves to blame for a 1-0 defeat at home to Newcastle. Here's the weather. Temperatures should range from 2 degrees in Thurso to 10 in Penzance. Expect a dry start with wintry sunshine. Later, it will remain cold and dry. Clouds will linger in the east. Sunny spells elsewhere. Here's the five-day forecast. Scotland and Northern Ireland will have fine dry stuff towards the weekend. Northern and central regions will be cloudy and cool with occasional sunshine. And the south will get the best of any sunny spell. That's all for now. I'll have more at 7.30. Uh, thanks very much, Jasmine.